Okay, so basically I'm Fallon Rice. I'm from Houston, Texas. Um, I actually moved to Atlanta six years ago um, after grad school. Um, did the whole, you know, go to school, get a job, kind of the debt, like Denise said. And I got a call as soon as I got here from the firm that said, oh yeah, we don't need you uh, right away. So I started working at a temp agency. I was literally just trying to get 25 to 50 bucks a day until they called me and said, yeah, we're ready for you to work. Um, I did get that call about a month later. Working 60, 70 hour weeks, very stressful. I'm um, a CPA and it's just not, it's not fun. Um, and so I got another call six months later from Sally May saying, oh yeah, by the way, your forbearance is up. We need you to pay $240,000. Yeah, $2,000 a month. And I was like, wait, what? Um, left that job, got another job. If anybody's been to Atlantic Station, worked in retail. Got a job at Ann Taylor while still working in corporate America, and it just wasn't enough. Saw an Instagram picture from Alina. Didn't think I was interested in the business, although I needed it, so you don't know what you need. Um, I got a different job working at Delta, had a tumultuous relationship with my boss, and because of this business, finally said yes to her after she wrapped me in the Starbucks bathroom. You do not need to have a wrap party, okay? She blitzed me on Instagram, wrapped me in the Starbucks bathroom. I saw her go triple and get a bonus. These ladies that were just on stage, I saw Denise and all these people go diamond, and I saw $2,000 a month and said, that's my ticket to pay Sally May off. Um, and that's exactly what I did. I went diamond, I went double in five months, fired that boss, went triple, went presidential, top 120. I don't care what you're going through today. I don't care if you're working at a temp agency. You can be up here in a year if you want. Hey y'all, I'm Brooke Tomatich from Nashville, Tennessee. And I was one of those people that did not want to get into this business at all. I was a hairstylist, any hairstylist out there? And one of my clients grabbed me and I told her up and down, do not talk to me about the business. But I got incredible results from this wrap, so I couldn't stop talking about it. I ended up sending 20 people to her to wrap. So she ended up calling me saying, hey, I'm making 25 bucks a pop off these people, and they're all becoming loyal customers, so I'm making residual income. And I was like, well, you are not gonna be making money where my mouth was. So I'm gonna go ahead and join this business. Um, a free lunch, talked to my husband into it. <laughs> she invited us out. And guys, within this business, we have been able to both come home full time to be with our kids. We have become debt free. My husband got saved in it works training. And we just adopted our beautiful baby girl four months ago, all funded by it works. Your life will change if you let it with this business. It's is so much bigger than just a wrap, guys. I hope you can give your name and understand that. Okay, so we heard y'all's story earlier. So what I want to know from you guys is how does it how did it feel? Because Ruby, the average income there is around five hundred dollars. How did it feel to make that first five hundred dollars when you hit Ruby? Oh my gosh, you guys. Um five hundred dollars is so much money. Even a hundred dollars to me still is so much money. What you have the ability to do with that. I felt like I was just underwater and I couldn't breathe. I was just treading right underwater. And what that did was allow us to breathe a little bit. Um, I kind of joke about this a little bit when we were cursing. I was like, I just wanted a freaking cheeseburger from McDonald's. I just wanted to be able to have some extra money to get the things, you know? So to be able to pay for bills, to be able to go actually buy food instead of standing in the food lines. Um, uh, it's just what we needed, you know? So it starts with maybe it's a need that you, you get into this for, and then you start having the wants. So it's okay to go right down the need of 500, but then it's okay to dream a little bit more um, past that ruby too. So I got it just to make a million dollars. I don't know about you guys. Uh, we had opened fitness franchises, which was the last thing people wanted to pay for when the economy collapsed. But when we found this and it was $25, I'm like, I know a woman will sell a child, a kidney, and bounce checks uh, to get skinny in 45 minutes for $25. So I was like, I'm in. We're going to be rich. Uh, and then the next thing that she said to us was, it's one of those pyramid things. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going to be so rich. Uh, because we had done those things. And if you don't have any faith in the business, this is what will 
catapult you through. This business has been around for so long. Uh, it was about 2,000 years ago, there was this guy named Jesus. Uh, he started out with 12 guys, and those 12 guys went out and got 70 guys. And those 70 guys created a movement that changed the world. So you are in the right place at the right time for the right vehicle, and Ruby is where it starts. You know, I can still remember exactly where we were when we hit Ruby until that first commission check. And Jake and I went to the bathroom and cried our eyes out. And I never thought that we would feel better than that until the first time that the person on our team hit that Ruby rank and called us and was crying their eyes out. That's way bigger than yourself. Found <coughs> same question. First $500. Tell me about it. Um, so first of all, Pam said y'all are not average. So my first Ruby check was not $500. Those are averages, guys. If you want or need more, you can that meant the world to me because it really proved from my first check I didn't have to just get the numbers on the screen because frankly I didn't come in here for $500. I needed that $2,000. When I got that first $1,000 check, I was like, oh, it's time to go. That's awesome. I did only make $500 $500 from home, from my phone. I did a couple parties, and I am super, super shy, but I pers you know, pers pushed my way through that and made that first $500, and it was the same thing. This is working. This is working. I started dreaming bigger, and maybe I could come home and stay home with my kids. So that's what that first $500 did for me, too. Okay, let's get into the nitty-gritty. How did you get to Ruby? What did you do from day one, however long it took you, because we didn't go, all of us didn't go Ruby in 60 days. So we're going to talk about that. What did you do? Get in, you want to go Ruby, you want to get $2,000. Tell me how you did it. I told everybody. Um, it felt so good to see a lot of them on the stage. My best friend that told me no for 10 months, my sister and brother-in-law that said no, my aunt that told me no at my brother's graduation party, everybody that said no, I did not care. Most of y'all are so scared to talk to your family and get a no. They're going to say no, but they're going to say yes when you don't stop. So if I knew that I wanted that $5,000 Ruby bonus, actually, at all when I got it, I needed that money, and the only way to do it was to bring in customers, bring in distributors. I had to tell everybody, and I had a bomb before and after picture, um, and I just started sharing it. I started showing pictures of Mac Fat Perry. People were blowing my phones up. Um, there was a logo two days after I joined, and I think I got 16 loyals that day because I called every single person, everybody that I've been to South Africa with that saw me get my before and afters and was like, you need these wraps, and I put them in the system. What did she do? She took action. She was passionate about the product and she got 16 loyal customers in her first day. That first week of MoGo, 16 customers. She said, forget four. I'm going to go do four times that because she took action. She was passionate. So, Brooke, how'd you get there? Okay, so that girl who tried so hard to get me to join, she quit like the next month. So, honestly, I had no idea what I was doing. Okay, um, so I just started wrapping people. That's all I did was wrap people. And the same kind of thing happened to them. They fell in love with this wrap and they were like, why wouldn't I sell this and offer this to my friends? And before I know it, I woke up one day and I'm like, oh, Ruby, that's how that happens. And so for me, it was a little different. But guys, guess what? Guess how long it took me to go Ruby? Seven months. Guess how long it took me to go Diamond? A year. So raise your hand, let's go ahead and be vulnerable. Who has gotten a little hurt because you haven't gone Ruby or Diamond in the time you set for yourself? Let's go ahead and raise your hands. Okay guys, it took me four years to become a millionaire. Do you think I care? It took me seven months to go Ruby or Really, 
in this because that's what the distributor shared with me was you can become a distributor or you can become a loyal customer. And that's what I did. Same thing that you're going to hear from leaders, we opened our mouth. I had no idea. She told me it was a pyramid scheme. And I was like, oh gosh, how am I going to do this? But I just let people know, make it major list. I think that's the mistake that people think it and they don't actually follow through with the action of calling. The worst case scenario, they're going to say no and oh well, they don't pay your bills. You've got to make this your priority in life and that's what we saw with that was offering a customer or distributor and you go from there. So uh, I'm going to give you my grandpa speech. Back in my day, uh, we didn't have social media. We had the thing called MySpace. <laughs> yeah, you all had those glitter profiles and your eight friends. That's about where ours ended. Uh, we, we talked about earlier about the why, and, and now we're talking about the how. Well, our how didn't have blitz cards. Uh, it didn't have steps to success. Uh, uh, you're supposed to be like sobbing violently for me right now. Uh, we didn't have the Ruby chart. Oh my gosh, how did you guys do it? We went out and talked to people. We got a shirt that said, it works, and everybody said, what works? It's that simple. You guys all have black, green, and bling on. Go out and walk around in Atlanta. There's a couple hundred thousand people just in this little area. They're gonna ask you, that is how you get to Ruby. Did you just go out and show people what it is you do? If your mouth is closed, your business is closed. You should be like a 7-Eleven, open 24 hours a day. Anyways, I know uh, listening can be scary, and I understand that, again, coming from my perspective, where I'm saying you've got to talk to people and you have to take action, and I know some of you are thinking, but I'm scared, what if they say no? You're gonna be fine, I promise. This is the difference, your fear is holding you back from that $500. If you would just get over that and, and know you're gonna get a no, you're gonna get more than one no, but at the end of those no's is the yes. You get five yeses, that's all you need. Five yeses and you go over the you need five on your team, that's it. So, push through that, get over your fear. Okay, um, let's talk about how you keep it simple. So tell me, um, how did you keep it simple getting to Ruby? And then now, if somebody comes into your organization and they want Ruby, how do you explain it to them to keep it simple to get there? Um, a lot of people know my story, so I can't even lie and say I kept it simple. I did everything. <laughs> you know, I was doing the most. I was reading the content. I was calling everybody. I was doing a lot. Um, but really, now what I know is, y'all, let's rap repeat. Put the rap on people. You know, I talked to someone the other day, and I said, have you, I, you know, I was doing a rap party. And no one wanted, like Mel said, no one wanted to put the wrap on. And I said, okay, distributor that we just not, not just signed up, she been in a couple months. I said, well, what was your results with the wrap? And she nudged me and said, you know, I have it wrapped. I'm skinny and I work out. And I'm thinking, no wonder. So I know that you guys hear what we're saying, but it's literally that simple. Get the wrap on people. So when to get to Ruby, you don't have to do all this extra stuff. I can't sign loyals till I get my kit. Just blitz somebody, put the wrap on somebody, and keep doing that because they're going to get results. And there are only two options: they're going to be a loyal, they're going to be a distributor, and you're going to build your Ruby structure. And that is what's duplicable. They don't have to go and read the comp plan. They don't have to do all this extra stuff that I did because I wanted to know because I'm a red and I want to know how I'm going to make my money. But that's not what everybody wants. When you want to get to Ruby by doing those simple things. Perfect. Brooke, how do you keep it simple? Um, keep it simple just by being excited. I mean, stay on top of those people. The second you sign up somebody, don't just show them that Ruby chart and be like, good luck. You know, stay with them. Make sure that they know. Listen, there's five people total that can get you to that bonus and that 500 a month average income. Five people. You know that many people for sure, and just stay with them. Do not leave them. You know, I am so grateful for simplicity because I am ADD all over the place, so I need kindergarten level. I'm not a computer wizard or anything like Joel, maybe. So I know if I can do this, anybody can do this. So what I needed to do was that visual. So, you know, as it works as progress. We've got that right in front of us. So for me, I even try to just keep it as minimum is your foundation is four customers and three distributors. That's not nearly as scary as even saying five distributors. So sometimes just saying less is best. And a thing that I really feel like is on my heart is don't train people before they're actually in. 
get them in, then have them log into their documents and print off exactly what they're going to do. And you know from hearing everyone up here, we opened our mouths so they can do that too without even trying the wrap. If you're so passionate and believe in this product, that is going to just jump over the phone onto them that they're going to do the same thing. So less is best. And the more that you do that, the better that you just are like, oh, they just signed up with like five words. That's awesome. I'm agreeing, so I'm going to nerd out on you guys for a second. Uh, what's so amazing about it works is uh, there was this guy a long time ago that everybody thought was crazy. His name was Henry Ford. Uh, he said he was going to have a car in every driveway of America. And they were like, oh, you're weird. They printed newspapers with hate stuff in it, kind of like Facebook nowadays. Uh, and they said he's crazy, but what he did was he revolutionized the auto industry by creating a system called the assembly line. So there's this amazing industry called network marketing and direct sales, which has just been going around flailing because there's never been a system. Mark, Pam, and Mike systematized network marketing with the steps of success in going to Ruby. That means you can churn out Rubies left and right, left and right, left and right. You do not have to be the magic. The system is the magic. Are there cars in every neighborhood, in every driveway in America now? That far superseded Henry Ford's lifetime. This system is going to far supersede your lifetime. And when you use the power of that system, it will take things to a whole other level for you. How are you? All right, another question for you. How many of you are past your 60 days, or you are past your Ruby? Raise your hand. Okay, we're going to talk to y'all. Here's my question. What if I'm one of them and I miss the Ruby bonus? Okay, so this is what I have to say. This business is about residual. I don't know who said it earlier and I wrote it down. Can you guys please get over your bonus mindset? You are in this business for residual monthly income forever and ever and ever. So to be mad about $500 bonus, I had a distributor on my team. I just did a Facebook Live about it, so I'm going to try to not go on my soapbox. I was so happy. She lost. She did not get a Ruby bonus at the end of last month. She had told her kids that night, we're going to go for it. God's going to provide. We're going to get a lot of money. She didn't know Ruby. Her son woke up the next day and said, Mommy, did we make a lot of money? And she said, well, no, maybe, but God's going to make a way. I have all this in text, okay? And she got a call to go get wraps, two wraps, $50. And she almost told him no because she had her babies with her that day. She got up, went to the wrap appointment, and made $450 wrap cash that day. And basically got her Ruby bonus because first of all, she had the faith. She didn't quit her business. She didn't sulk the next day after she didn't get her Ruby bonus. She said, I'm going for it and still got the money and now she's still running in the business. Go for diamonds, go for double, go for black diamonds. Brooke, talk to me about why we don't stop at Ruby, because that's the point here. Why do we not stop at Ruby? Because there wasn't a Ruby bonus or anything like that when I got in. And, you know, I got into this business for $500 because I was selling things in my house to buy formula for my baby. If I would have gotten to that $500 mark and said, I'm good. That's what I did. We wouldn't have life-changing moments like what just happened to us even a few minutes ago where this huge panel stands up here talking about Children's Cup and this trip. And my husband is able to send me a text message and say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and go grab 20 kids. And that's a reality. That is a reality. What if we would have stopped at Ruby? This is so much bigger than ourselves. You are going to change so many lives. And when you think of it that way, there's no way that you're going to set a limit for yourself. The sky won't even be a limit for you. You're going to look at it as how many lives are going to change. Amen. So good. So if you ask them like, I mean, if they've gotten any bonus, they would say no. So do not, like these ladies have said, stop that bonus stop you from what can turn into a black diamond check. You guys are all worthy of it. You just gotta put in the work. And I think that the thing is, is we see this bonus and people do get upset and they don't wanna continue on when there's so much more, when you hit diamond and you have that license to print money. Um, you should feel this passion 
this energy and know it is there. Somebody is going to take it. Is it going to be you? There, I think there's a handful. Is it going to be you? So then let's not think about that when you get a bonus awesome, but let's focus on what's here. I've heard Pam say this. There is enough money in this comp plan to pay us a million dollars a month. I am claiming that and you are all going to. Okay, I really want you guys to hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. You are so much more worthy than a season in your life. You are worth a lifetime of greatness. Someone bought and paid for that for you so that you could be more than a conqueror. And more than a conqueror is a lifetime of greatness. Not a missed bonus, not a missed rank. You've got forever to do this. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. That step towards greatness starts today and it is yours. Go out and claim it. Guys, how do you get to diamond, right? You went ruby, how do you get to diamond? You just go build more rubies. A diamond is three rubies. For the rest of your life, how do you get to black diamond? Build rubies. Build more rubies, guys. What are you guys doing right now? As now that you are black diamond, what are you doing? I'm still building rubies. She's building rubies. Guys, that's all you have to do. Keep it simple. You can be ruby, you can go diamond, you can go to double. And when you go, newbie to ruby to diamond, and now double two, high five. You get $5,000. Guys, do you realize if you go diamond and double, you get both? I just want to make sure you understand that. So.